2018 by Elashim's observation report was launched by the People's Alliance for Creditable Elashim's Peace and PTE PTE in Yangon on Thursday. 2018 by Elashim was contacted on 3rd November 2018 as the second by Elashim head and at the NLD government. Peaks and PTE assigned 751 short-term and long-term observers to monitor different processes during the pre-election period, on election day and in the post-election period in 12 vacant constituencies. One of the officials also explained how they made this report and shared the findings from the monitoring processes. We conduct a pre-election survey, observe voter list displays and monitor the entire campaign period and also in advance voting during the pre-election period. When election day, we also conduct to observe the entire voting process such as the polling station set at opening, voting, closing and counties as well as the researchers during the post-election period. Generally, the whole election process was smooth and clean. We didn't find any major incidents during 2018 by election period. The report includes findings from the monitoring different processes and recommendations to Union Election Commission so as to promote the transparency, inclusiveness, accountability and confidence in the electoral process. According to the report, there are six business recommendations to UEC to prepare for the upcoming 2020 general elections. So, the commissions need to change to be a free, transparency and independent one. The rules and regulations when campaign donation and spending should be specific and agree among all parties. A voter list and an avail voting process also should be planned and conducted within a time frame. And it's also important to promote citizen awareness and the detailed information of the election process should be reviewed. If we reform at least three or then our election process will move a bow among regional countries. The report also urged UEC to work with political parties, members of parliament and civil society organizations to review the entire electoral process and develop a realistic strategy for elect electoral reforms, some of which should be an edit before the 2020 general elections to make it more transparent, inclusive and accountable in order to promote public confidence in the electoral process.